Those two were prison guards that were being paid off. I named him DJ because he was a DJ at night and a prison guard during the day. All of the payments are... How do corrupt staff, prison staff, get caught? Well, number one, if you're corrupt, you're not very smart to begin with. Because the inmates always have a way to box you in, and they keep you penciled in as well. As you just saw from the short clip from the Cocaine Cowboys bookkeeper who was keeping a ledger on everybody, including detention deputies down in Miami and prison officers down in Miami. A lot of them were on the payroll of the Cocaine Cowboys. You know, when you're a mule for inmates and you're pushing their drugs in and out of the prison for them, whether you're in uniform or civilian staff in the prison, and you think you're cool, you think they like you, you're nothing but an overpaid mule, with the, and the inmates have no respect for you. But that's okay. We want you to be dumb if you're corrupt. Because if you're corrupt, we're going we're we're to catch you eventually. Eventually, you're going to trip and fall, and we're going to arrest you. But how does that happen in many cases? Well, the help of the inmates. Okay? Some of you say, you believe what an inmate says? Yeah, I do. When the inmate provides from their street people, cashier's checks, money orders sent to a prison staff member, uh, proof of payment to an officer, or we do a sting operation based on an inmate's allegation, and we catch the corrupt drug smuggling officer or prison staff civilian member. So you know what? We don't just take the word of the inmate and write an investigation and give it to the state attorney without evidence. You know, when I hear people say that, inmates lie 100% of the time. Well, you know what? Inmates do tell a lot of untruthful things. They do make false allegations. So we have to be very careful. That is why we go with evidence. Now, what kind of evidence do we use? Telephone recordings, mail, uh, drug ledgers from the street, and, and copies of where money was uh, put into bank accounts, uh, copies of uh, bank accounts, copies of phone records. We subpoena phone records, you know, and I'm not giving anything away because this is an age-old thing, folks. It's just that when an officer or a prison staff member wants to become corrupt and smuggle drugs into a prison, they don't care about the past. They think they're smarter than everyone else. They think they'll never get caught. They think I'm the cat's meow. I'm cool. The inmates people on the street, the drug dealers love me. The inmates love me. Nobody's going to catch me. Yeah, right. They always get caught sooner or later, folks. It may be within the first year, maybe within the first month, but you're going to get caught. Now, what kind of notes do inmates uh, and their uh, street drug dealers keep on you? Well, as you saw, a drug ledger. Inmates secretly keep logs and coded logs inside their uh, inmate property. And then if the inmates uh, fall in love with you, whether it be a uh, male officer in a female prison or a um, female officer in a male prison, They'll write you love letters, and they keep these things. And then if you give them a note back, they keep that. That's like a, a file to them. They keep every note you pass to them, okay? Um, inmates nowadays have another way of keeping records. Smuggled cell phones. Very bad situation across the country. Cell phones being smuggled into the prison by who? Well, by civilian staff, by uniform staff, visitors can drop them off at outside uh, drop-off locations to be picked up by work squads and smuggled in. But see, the cell phones are now being used to secretly record. So now you're working for an inmate, and they secretly record you talking to them or secretly record you doing things. They hold that over your head. But you know what? You're cool. You're making big money. You're making $1,200, $1,500 cash under the table per haul. You're never going to get caught, right? Well, wrong. Even the cocaine cowboys got caught 
after 28 years of being pursued by the authorities in Miami. You know, you're going to get caught. So wake up, America, and let's fight this drug smuggling in prison. Let's fight this corrupt staff issue. Let's, let's don't bury our head in the sand. Pretend like it isn't happening. Because I'm reading about it month after month after month in a different location across the country. I've always been an advocate to fight corruption in prisons. Why? To keep the honest, hardworking officers and prison staff safe, as well as the inmates that are not involved in the drug smuggling. Because isn't it our job to provide safety and security within the walls of the prison? I'm done venting. Thank you for watching Gary York, True Prison Stories. Take care, everybody.